How's it going everyone? I'm Aaron Nick and welcome back to Soma. I am on my way, I'm underwater and I'm about to try and uh, turn off the, the, uh, the wow. And there's been some spooky guy telling me what to do. He's been real staticky and he's been giving me directions. And I'm just gonna hope that he's leading me to do the right thing. This place is really creepy, I'm like... Yeah, alright. Kyle was expecting this. Nice. This what the hell is that? Heart. It controls all the structure gel on Pathos 2. All you need to do is poison the imprint, and the heart will unwillingly spread it across Pathos 2, killing it. Oh, do I just stick my hand in it? Feed it, Simon. Push your arm into the heart. Alright. Okay. Well, now we have the grand, uh, grand arm push. Escape. I have to get the hell out of here. Let me get the hell out of here. Okay, that door is open. I have to go to that door. Alright, alright, we're cool, we're cool. I just fucking stuck my hand in it, and now that guy's trying to kill me. That's, that's about the gist of my knowledge. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're running down the path right. about that though because he stuck his he stuck his left hand in when he always used he's been a righty all game why did he decide to change all of a sudden so there's no more storm out here obviously where it was just isolated in the location I was at is that another one I could see yeah it is Oh, okay, it doesn't want me though. Ooh. It we got a friendship. It it understands me. It knows that I don't want to be eaten by it. So it respects my boundaries and it, it's a pretty pretty healthy relationship. Respect my boundaries. This is my no-no zone. It means you don't come over here. He did not respect my boundaries. You trying to tell me you don't respect me, boy? Oh, I am. Okay, I'm not limping as bad anymore. I'm still limping, but not as bad. I think it'd be best if I just got to the building as quickly as possible. We're standing. Pretty close, but I'm cool. cool. Okay, let's get to the building. 
Pressurized door. Just open. Open. Bastard. Come on. I'll crouch. Okay. And I'm in. Alright, I don't know where I'm at, but I'm I'm in a building. Alright, cool. Oh boy. That was like pretty exciting for just a couple minutes into an episode. Oh shit, was that I knew it was like scheduled, like a lot of stuff was about to go down, that's why I ended the last part where I did. Hope the Ark made it here in one piece. Service area. Can't open. Obviously can't open that one at all. What was that? Hey, grab oh, it's a locker. It's a locker for their suits. Okay. Put Catherine into the terminal, see what's going on. Chris, what the hell happened to your arm? It's complicated. I just need to know one thing. I'll Ooh. have both my arms in the arc, right? Yes, of course. Are you okay, though? Can you do stuff? Yeah. Let's just get this over with. Did you find the arc? I did, but I kind of lost it on my way here on an automated tram thing headed to Phi. So it should be around somewhere. That's great. Let's go get it. Aww. Oh, oh. Oh, it's her turning on the lights. Okay, I thought I thought what I was hearing was some sort of monster. All right, fire is up and running. Go the away. The satellite is loaded into a shell. The shell is accelerated by electromagnets along the power. Enough momentum to escape Earth's gravity is gained before progression. Reaching space. The satellite will shed the shell and unfold. Onboard thrusters settle the satellite into an orbit. There more? Sight map. Okay, so I'm there. Storage? Is that telling me that I have to go right there? This place really isn't that big. I mean... Really, none of these areas have been huge. A satellite is loaded. Alright, so that's what I looked at. I don't transport. My cargo bay requires manual off lift. Uh, incoming, outgoing activity. One last visit. Launch log. Mission completed. Remote sensing satellite, mission completed. Mission completed. Alright, on hold. After 10 years of impeccable operation, the Mega Space Gun was shut down but took an apocalypse to be made redundant. Vic Sinclair. Did you find out what happened to the ARC team? Not really. For some reason, they didn't go through with the launch, so they took the ARC back to Tau. I hope everything's okay with the space gun. Yeah, I doubt I'll be able to repair one of those. Uh, the, what's bothering me is the flesh in it. I, I guess, actually, what's more disturbing about it is that there's metal coming out of the flesh. This feels like the longest day of my life. Has it just been one day? I have no idea. Our time together is a confusing patchwork of moments to me. What time is it then? What day? It's May 11th, 2104, 3.30 a.m. But I don't remember when we started. I think I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell, a bullet ready to be loaded. That's great. All prepared for the arc. 
Right. I'll go pick it up. Can I pick it up, though? Are you suggesting we keep it down here? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars? Do not operate machine. Um, okay, so I need to do something with this. I might as well take it now. Because I'm probably going to have to hook it up to some sort of computer terminal and upgrade it. Oh, yes. Okay, heal. Heal me! <sighs> he looks down and his hand is, like, regenerated. Uh, these doors do a whole lot of nope. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Okay, so I did the right thing already. I'm happy I found it first before I came over here. Here it is. We got the arc back. Good job, Simon. Take it to the assembly space and load the bullet. He is still able to carry it, so that's good. Still have part fully functioning arm. I need to bring that chip over here now. <laughs> so there's one, there's one chip that works to, for the entire building. Yeah, I left that open too, in case I do need to go back in that room. I doubt it, but I mean, there's always the chance. Payload detected. Loading bay closing. Hey, um, I ha I have to be nearing the end it? of the game. I'm really not that familiar with guns of any size. Oh, here we go. All systems say go. Lock and load. Got that gun, then we'll head out to the gun. I have to, there, this has to be like, uh, the climax of the game coming up. Cause that, that's been the whole point. I've gone from, um, Epsilon to here, and the whole plan was the arc. Making me climb with my, with my dank hand. Now okay. what? Now we just need to get the shell into the gun and then kaboom. Aren't you forgetting something? How are you gonna get us on board the Ark? Don't we need to make another scan? Oh, don't you worry. You don't operate something like the Omega space gun with your bare hands. You mean it's a pilot seat? Like back at Omicron? Yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark while operating the gun. Two birds and all that. Now, take the Omni tool and plug it in next to the seat and I'll guide you through the final steps. Surprised that this whole process didn't have any creatures. The Omni tool. Yeah, fill with water. No airlock. Why? Is Why do I have to be underwater for this part? I think launching a gun. I feel it. A gun wouldn't work as well underwater. Maybe I'm missing the whole scientific concept here, but... It's my understanding that bullets don't travel well underwater. You can open now. Thank you. 
adopter, create machinery without Seiko and Shad app. Oh. I'll never get used to that. Because you won't have to. Again. Not after this is over. Right. Have a seat. Take a seat. Comfortable? As good as it's gonna get. Okay, I'll activate the seat. You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. How do you operate this thing? Don't know, I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Alright, so it's telling me to grab that. Okay, so I have the bullet now. So that's the zoom. Do I turn it? Can I turn it? Oh, it turns on its own. Okay. That was odd. It was like I only have like two controls. I have. There we go. I have, I look to move it. Is there? Okay, ready when you are. Just hit the button and we're off. But we need to transfer our minds to the arc. We also need to make sure it launches at all. So I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. All right, here goes nothing. Here we go, no turning back. Thank you, Simon. Don't mess. It's an amazing thing you did. And I want you to know I appreciate it. Time, 20 seconds. What's the matter with the upload? Just give it a second. I thought you guys would have better bandwidth in the future. Simon left behind though. I'm still here. I'm still here. Catherine? I'm the one left Catherine? behind now. I'm here. What the hell happened? What went wrong? Nothing. They're out there. Among the stars. We're here. No. We were getting on the Ark. I saw it. It finished loading just before it launched. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. You know why we're here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon and Omicron. Just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. No, no, no. This is bullshit. We came all this way. We launched the Ark. I know it sucks. But our copies are up there. Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship. They're not us. They're not us. I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survived, that something lives on. No, 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 no. Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck this! Fuck you! Fuck you, Catherine! You lied! And I believed in you! I trusted you! You said we're getting on the fucking Ark! We are on the Ark, you idiot! I didn't lie! I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance! You fuck! Fuck! Catherine? That, Please that thing's coming here. Catherine? Catherine? Shit. Okay, so they're. Oh. Yeah. That, that was the end of the game. So there was. There was four Simons. There was the original one that I started the game as. Then he scanned himself, and I, then I was the robot suit. Then I was the more powerful robot suit. 
and then now Simon's fourth copy is on the Ark. Wow. That was a little bit of a um, a mind fuck, if that's a proper term I can use. I just it, it was hard to keep track of everything in this game. I mean, it all came full circle eventually. I know it all makes sense. It's just it's something that like you kind of have to like try and sort it out. It's it's definitely not an easy story to you know grasp fully the first time. I know that. This is a game I'm going to go back and play at some point. Alright. Oh, okay. I, I skipped the credits. Huh? Shit, am I... Am I the other Simon? Am I another Simon now? Whoa. Is this... did it work? Is this gonna be, um... Like, man, like a cave, like in the Ark or something? Is this what the Ark idea is? They went all out in this area. This looks awesome. This looks amazing. Who says they can't just make creepy, creepy ambiances? They can also make like really well made forests. They use the lighting really well. I mean, I know that's key to making a good horror game is having good lighting, but they did a really, really well job with the lighting in this in this scenery to make it all come together. Activate this. Welcome. If you're reading this, you were successfully entered the arc. Okay, so I was right. I'm on the arc. This survey is de designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well being. Something I wanna. Oh! I'm not actually answering this. How do you describe it? It's the same thing. It's the same, uh, it's the same one I took earlier. That's interesting. That's cool because now, you know, I played through the game and I feel like I have different understanding of what happened because at the time, like I ba like when I first took that survey, I was just starting to get the hints that you are a robot. And now that I actually understand like the whole process of the transference and how they kept transferring my character's mind several times. Catherine? Catherine! I can't believe we actually made it. Well, we did. I'm so relieved. It's okay, Simon. Everything's all right now. So, what was their plan going forward from this? So, humankind remains of the scans that they made in that. So, they're still robots. They can possibly set down and create more robots, I guess. I don't know. No, it's just humankind just lives on in that satellite. And when that satellite dies out, like when it runs out of power or... It has the solar panel, so I suppose that it lasts some time with the sunlight, but when that, like, eventually, like, is destroyed, even if it was, like, thousands and thousands of years, then this game's universe, the humans in this universe are completely wiped out, even if it's just the, the scans of humans. 
then there's no life on the surface and then all that would be left is you know anything any of those like machines that were surviving down below which i i destroyed the wow so all those machines shut down anyways Achievement unlocked. The end. Alright. Does it continue? There's a new game. There's a new game. Starting a new game over at your latest save. Okay. Well. That was Soma. Alright, so I'm gonna give... I kind of just took a couple minutes. I always do that just to kind of gather my thoughts. I, put, I finish a game. And then I take a few minutes to gather my thoughts, and then I come back, and I'm kind of, you know, talk about overall what I thought about the game, you know, start to finish what I felt about, you know, the main points of the game. So, I mean, I know I was talking a little bit about it when I was finishing the game, and how interesting it was, and how, you know, different of a story this is. Because this is a different narrative. This is a different type of horror game that we've really ever seen. Because they touch base on different points that really haven't been touched in different games. And fictional games kind of, you know, went above and beyond to take a different approach to a different aspect of horror. So, this game almost has a horror of, um, like, what defines a human. I think, I wouldn't know, I haven't really looked up any of, like, their interviews or anything... But I feel like that was something they were trying to touch base on, is the fact that humans are not very well defined in this game. Because to Catherine, a character like Catherine, she just viewed humans as the scans and anything that remains of them is better than nothing. Whereas Simon wanted to, Simon wanted to live. Simon wanted to be able to continue living, and he wanted to be the one on the Ark. And then we actually got to see Simon A and Simon B at the end. So it was definitely, you know, a weird thought. So one Simon is just going to die at that launch area. He's just going to, you know, wander the sea floor or whatever until he dies. And then. The other one lives on in the Ark until, you know, till the end of the Ark, till the Ark gives out. So, there's two versions of Simon, both eventually waiting to die. And that's not, like, a happy thought to go out on. And this was definitely a dis different aspect of horror. There was, there was many different creatures in this game. Um... I do want to talk about uh, the the ending. So most games, most video games that have the ending, the climax, there's that moment where like your the game basically gets its hardest as you're trying to accomplish the hardest task. So I'm a little let down almost that when I was getting ready to launch, that there really wasn't like a great encounter i didn't face that one robot again i didn't see him i i didn't think he died he might have died when the um that whale enemy came so that might have killed him but at the same time the static went out at the end and catherine disappeared on the computer terminal which almost leads me to believe that uh that one robot had come back for him so, which I'm going to do some reading after, after this. I probably should have done it before I gave my final deliverance on this, but I'm, I will find out. I, I'm interested to see like, if the care, like if the enemies I faced, if each individual enemy I faced turns out to be like, I know they are the scientists and stuff, but if you can, if they determine their names, if there was a way to determine who they were. When you're facing them and uh, with that I think um, I think I'm done with 
Soma, I'm done with this Let's Play, I think, um, I haven't played all the Frictional games, I haven't played, um, I haven't played through both Amnesias, and this is actually my first Frictional game that I've played through myself, so I think, um, I'm gonna go back eventually and play through, uh, the other games, I'm probably gonna go, uh, start to finish, so I'm gonna start with Penumbra, um, I'm pretty sure Overture is the first one, and then I'll go the other two Penumbras, and then I'll go Amnesia, and then Machine for Pigs, which, I actually heard that Machine for Pigs isn't as good as the other ones, but I still think, I still think I'll play all five games, I think I'll play through all five games, but... As I said before, this ends my playthrough for Soma. If you like the video, if you like the game, please go down below and let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.